Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to download, install and do write to C and C++ program in Segway editor. So first I am going to show you how to uh, download to Segway editor. So in Google write to uh, Segway and uh, here this is the official site to Segway and this is the detail about Segway system software. So add your programming language that you C and C++ and here this all details. So let's click on there Segway and here this is Segway or home page and uh, here the software available in so two or uh, format first is 64 bit and 32 bit operating system and uh, so that working. Windows operating system so I'm using the uh, Windows 64 bit operating system so that I'm going to click uh, this link and here uh, the software size is 915.51 KB so let's click on a start download and here after click on open so here uh, this is the uh, Osigmin Nate release setup so 64 bit setup dot exe version 2.83 let's click on next here install from internet here so this will store in our root directory c trap and sigwin folder so it's okay here click on again next next so you can select anyone so i'm going to select to mirror and here or click on next And uh, here after you have to install the package. So first uh, I'm going to install the package. Go to Dvan and here uh, for C and C++ we need to uh, take uh, GCC compiler. So this is an alphabetic. So here let's go search uh, G. E F G. Here after GCC. So there are lots of packages inside there. So uh, here GCC. So at your GCC core GNU compiler collection. So this is for C here. So you have to unskip this one and here after. Or uh, GCC G++ GNU compiler collection so this is for C++ so this video I'm going to show you how to uh, write to C and C++ program and uh, compile and execute so this uh, two packages on a skip and uh, here after we need to install one editor so here after let's uh, minimize and here after go to editor so I am going to take uh, a nano editor VI editor you can also use so nano is I think uh, I prefer you so you have to go mm here this is the nano editor you have to unskip this one also so this uh, three packages unskip now here after click on next and here after click on next again so this will take some time add your installation complete and uh, now I'm going to create icon on uh, desktop and here uh, add icon on start menu so let's click on finish and uh, here after see uh, icon created so let's click on this sequin 64 terminal and here uh, first I'm going to show you how to write to uh, C program so uh, for this let's write uh, nano command and
find here with the file name. So at here I'm going to give realm and uh, for C file we have to give dot C extension and here after paste enter. So this is the editor where we can write to uh, C or uh, program. So first I'm going to write as include std io dot to h and hereafter int main and here going to write the printer function and here or double quote here I am going to write the first program in sequence first program of C in sequence editor and here after write return 0 so this is the simple program of C. Here you can write any C programs. So here after what we need to do, or uh, here, so here you get get help right out where is so this all under radio. So here we need to click on Control X for exit, and here this is asking save modified editor. So you have to write or uh, press Y. And here after uh, file name uh, to write round.c it's ok now press enter and here after we have to compile the file to compile the file we have to write to gcc and here with the file name round.c so and here uh, no any errors found and uh, here compile successfully now I'm going to run the file. To run the file, we have to use that dot here after or backward slash and then give the file name. Yeah. And here I'm getting the message no search file or directory. So at here I did some uh, simple mistake. Or to compile the file, we have to write to this C rayon dot C here after minus O and to give the file name rayon and press enter. So it's compiled and uh, again to run the file we have to write to dot backward slash and give the file name rayon and press into so here first program of in sequence editor so here first program in sequence editor so how's the program work I explained so many times so how's the program and here that work so uh, at here so printer function what that do so what do I double cut that print to the output screen so output screen is the screen editor so there that print and uh, here so this is a simple program of C so you can write to any program in the uh, screen editor also so let's uh, press control X and here after Y and press enter so now I am going to uh, write a C++ program so again we have to uh, write to nano and here give the file name so and here I am going to give sami dot cpp to write to C++ program C++ program so you have to give cpp extension now press enter so again here let's write to or C++ program so first uh, we have to write has include io 
uh, frame. So this is the header file, and uh, here also int main and uh, here write the uh, function. So here simple printing program of C++ using sequin editor. So in double quote, whatever you write right here, so this will print into the output screen. And uh, here also, let's print the zero. So this is a simple program of C++. So again, we have to uh, write uh, uh, control X here, Y, and here, enter. So let's uh, compile a C++ program. To compile the C++ program, so we have to write G++ and uh, here give the file name. The file name is semi and uh, semi dot cpp. Press enter. So and here I'm getting the message in function int main C out was not declared in this. Okay, one more thing. So, at here, we need to include the name space as well inside here. So, here, include name space using name space. You can write any name, std or okay, std, it's okay, fine. And uh, now again or uh, control x y and enter again compile the file so this time no any error so here yeah, error out and uh, next uh, to run the file so we have to write dot backward or uh, slash a dot exe so right here this uh, printing simple printing or uh, program of C++ using Sigmin editor. So this is the way we can try to see or C++ program and compile and execute. So here you can write any kind of program in Sigmin editor. So this is also very good editor, I think. So I hope guys. This video is helpful for you. So if you have any doubt related to this video, leave your comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.